Wilma Rudolph was paralyzed by polio as a young child. She was told by doctors she would never walk again, but she believed otherwise. At the age of 12, she began walking and competing in athletics. At 16, she won a bronze medal in track and field in the 1956 Olympics. And in 1960, at the age of 20, she won three gold medals, becoming the first American woman to win three gold medals in one Olympic year. Wilma went from paralyzation to not one, not two, but three gold medals in the same Olympics. Now that is greatness. Hi, my name is Haas Tabrizi. I'm a co-founding partner of a wealth management practice. I coach three youth soccer teams and one AAU basketball team per season. People trust me with their wealth, and people trust me with their kids. And with that trust, I've learned that when you're actually ready to improve in life, then you're on the path to greatnesses. What is this thing called greatnesses? When you first hear the word greatnesses, you may be puzzled. In simplicity, it's the plural of greatness. In life, it's so much more than that. If you're a person going through the motions, a person wanting to improve personally, professionally, or financially, this is for you. And even if you aren't, it's still for you. Maybe you're a person who did so well at one thing, but you peaked at a young age and your purpose drifted after. That's happened to numerous world-class athletes, all-star players, and even Hall of Famers who led astounding careers only to retire in their 30s and stop being great. But what if these world-class athletes didn't just stop? What if they pursued other avenues of greatness? How much would that benefit the world? In the summer of 2022, I had a similar realization. I had and still have a wonderful marriage, three amazing kids, and a home I'm truly blessed to live in. I have what most consider to be a successful career. I've co-authored three best-selling books and coached hundreds of athletes. But at the time, I was still going through the motions. That summer, our family found out that my mom had advanced stage four breast, bone, and blood cancer. This news was hard and tore a massive hole in our hearts. For those of you affected by cancer, you know exactly what I mean. Some may not like to hear this, but my mom was given an expiration date. It's like having a sand timer on the shelf and the sand is running out. And some days it feels like the pain will never end, not for you and not for your loved ones. But we realized we couldn't just sit there in the pain. If we did that, we'd lose even more time. So I asked my mom if there's anything she wanted to do with her limited time left here, a so-called bucket list. Was there anything she wanted to eat, anywhere she wanted to go, anyone she wanted to see? Was there anything, anything she wanted to do? My mom flipped the question back to me. Do you remember when you were six years old and you wanted to cover sports on TV? Do you remember when you were six years old and CBS Sports came to the mall and you made a highlight reel of the San Francisco 49ers winning the Super Bowl? Do you remember when you had a sports show in college and you covered the Final Four on NBC but didn't pursue it any further? How about you go live your life and do what you always wanted to do? Wow, okay, Mom, how do I respond to that? She was right. I'd set aside things I was great at and set aside things I was passionate about. My mom, in spite of all her pain, had inspired me, and now is determined. So I reached out to one of my best friends who owns 93.7 The Ticket FM. He knew my background in television and broadcasting. He was also great at turning dreams into a reality. So within a few months, I was on the air, and my mom was my number one fan. I loved handing her the iPad before I went on the air. I also loved hearing everything I had to improve on immediately after every show, just like any Persian mom would do. My mom had called me out. I was sitting on the sidelines of my own life. This story is the embodiment of greatnesses. Getting back on the air was just the beginning. Because of my mom, I'm here to do so much more. Her message opened more and more doors, and that is greatnesses. Greatnesses is the reminder that we all have greatness within us and around us. Now, the word greatness is defined as the quality of being great, distinguished, or eminent. 
Greatnesses can come from multiple traits of greatness within you and multiple traits with people around you. Greatness is bringing all those things together and creating greatnesses. You can't have greatnesses without the ability to take on adversity. There's no greatnesses without inclusion, and there's no inclusion without greatnesses. So what are your greatnesses? Let's talk about the five keys to achieving greatnesses. One, explore within you. Figure out what you haven't accomplished yet. Find that one thing that will fulfill you. Find the destination. Without it, there's no journey. Two, learn from the past. Everyone fails at some point in life. What you do next shows your true composition. You'll often hear the words winning and losing in the same sentence. Nuh-uh. It's winning and learning. Three, surround yourself with greatnesses. The sum of all parts is greater than the individual, and who you choose to surround yourself with will affect your success. We as a society grow more when we take greatnesses from all walks of life. Four, reset the GPS. Your goals may change, your path may change, your circumstances will always change. Don't lose sight of your main objective, and don't be afraid to hit the reset button when you get distracted. Five, obsess. For this one, I share the words of the great Kobe Bryant. If you really want to be great at something, you truly have to care about it. If you want to be great in a particular area, you have to obsess over it. Passion and dedication are crucial for pursuing and achieving greatnesses in any endeavor. This room is full of greatnesses. Together, we're an accumulation of greatnesses. Take action, stay resilient, and never lose sight of your potential for greatnesses. Each and every one of you has so much talent within. Don't be afraid to fail. Greatnesses is going from fear and doubt to confidence and conviction. Listen to my mom, Nana Tabrizi, and find the one thing you haven't accomplished yet that will fulfill you. You never know what tomorrow will bring. It's time to unleash your greatnesses. Thank you.